morning has broken like the first morning. Praise every morning of a new day, a new day, a new moment in God's moment, a moment of calm, stepping into meditation. As you are settling into your favorite meditation position, I'd like to speak with you a little about meditation. One of the first things we Unity folks learn and do is to meditate. But why meditate? What's, what's the point? It, it, it's a moment for you to pause. Dr. Rick Hansen, who's a psychologist and a practicing Buddhist, says it's to step out of the parade, step out of the noise, out of the ordinary drama, even for a minute, and get some separation. You, you feel it in nature. When you step from the pavement into a garden, you can immediately feel a sense of calm and relaxation. Meditation allows us to get in touch with the core of our being, our deeper place of calm and clarity. This is our foundation. It's our true, authentic, natural home. And once you become in touch with your true self, and you know your God self, you become anchored in God. And you can come from a place of God even when life is stressful and challenging and noisy. So meditation also helps us cultivate particular qualities that God is. Love, and compassion, contentment, joy. Meditating, as Dorothy Pearson used to say, is about union. It's about becoming aware that we are always united with our divine self. There is no separation. And as we begin to go into meditation, there's lots of ways to meditate. Some chant, some use beads, some close their eyes, some walk, sit on the floor, use music, or have absolute silence. It can be a long or short meditation, and the experience each time we meditate will most likely be different. It doesn't matter. It's what works for you. Maybe you think you must hear a symphony of angels to have a successful meditation. Not so. Or the aha moment. Not necessarily. That it must be absolute quiet in your mind. No. If you think nothing happens when you meditate, when you calm, even for a moment, think again. The point of meditation is to reset, to calm the body, quiet the brain, and relax and connect and unify to your divine mind, to be open and aware, to listen. So now I invite you in this new morning to do a short meditation, to feel how your body and mind shift and discover the wonder of your own being. I'd like to start with breathing because breathing calms and helps us focus on stepping out of the parade. Focus breathing signals that this is a special time. So let's breathe in deeply through our nose and breathe out through the mouth. And again, focus on your breath. Thoughts come in and they go out. Take a moment to experience yourself sinking, relaxing. With each breath, allow your body to rest all its weight in the chair. As you relax, you can still hear the sounds you can still feel your body, your hands in your lap. Breathe in deeply and release.
and again. Breathe in while feeling your chest as a whole. And breathe out. Breathe in. And as you take this breath, be aware of the breathing in the area of your heart. Breathing out. The rhythm of your breath quiets your mind and lets thoughts come and go. Your breathing deepens and there is a lightness, a softness, a gentleness. Breathe in and bring yourself to center. Now rest here at your core. In this space, your divine mind surrounds your consciousness, your awareness. There's no separation the divine mind in you, all is one. Now, breathe in, breathe in, I am, and breathe out in God. Breathe in, I am, and breathe out in God. I love, I care, I give compassion, I give gratitude, I give kindness, I love, I care, I give compassion, gratitude, and kindness. Now breathe in, I am, and breathe out in God. Again, breathe in, I am, and breathe out in God. I am loved, I am cared for, I am appreciated, I am loved. I am cared for. I am appreciated. This is the God you. This is your true nature, your true self. There is only the one true self. Rest here for a moment in this new morning, in the wonder of your own being, knowing you are light and love, goodness and compassion and kindness.
Meditating is coming home to yourself. It's coming home to your God self. We meditate to know ourselves. And as a unity student, it's knowing that our true self is our divine consciousness. Dear friends, when you speak from your true self, you speak with the truth of kindness, understanding, compassion, love, peace. That is you. Now, as much as I dislike to end our time of meditation together, I invite you to stay in this awareness, your heart ready with the wonder of your own being as we listen to Marty's message. And as with a grateful heart and mind, I say thank you, God. Amen.